Joining me today is my dad, the one and only Dad Tim. Welcome to the show, Dad. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks for having me. Well, you always give me the best advice, okay? So I figured... Glad you realize that. Why? <laughs> I didn't always when I was a teenager, right? But I figured why not have you on the show so we could have some Dad Tim wisdom shared with the rest of America. Appreciate that. Yeah, and I'm sure that you all will appreciate it too when you hear all the brilliance that he has to share. Dear Cat, my 12-year-old daughter wants to start dating, but I think she's way too young. However, I don't want her sneaking behind my back if I tell her no. What do I say to her from desperate to date? This has got Dad Tim written all over it. What are your thoughts here? Well, I, well she still makes the rules. Okay. Uh, I think that her, her uh, uh, thought about that is correct. 12 years old is far too young. Um, and uh, if, if she's worried about this person going behind her back on something like this, then she's not watching closely enough. <laughs> uh, and I don't think that a 12 year old should be able to get away with anything behind your back other than maybe, you know, sneaking your vegetables under the table to the dog. Uh, <laughs> other than that, uh, she should catch on very easily because uh, uh, 12 year olds are not that sophisticated that they could escape notice for anything major like that. Mm -hmm. I remember everyone, listen to this. This is pretty unbelievable. When I was 16, my boyfriend got his tongue pierced and my parents made me break up with him. Actually, my mom called his house <laughs> and talked to his parents and said, if you call our house again, we're calling the police. I don't know what she did, but... She did do yeah. that. <laughs> and then you guys grounded me uh, for two weeks. And I said, I didn't do anything. I didn't pierce anything. You grounded me and you explained it saying, well, you have poor judgment. You clearly have poor judgment in selecting this person mm. as your partner, so you are therefore grounded. I think the, uh, the tongue piercing was a little much for me, and uh, I just I thought the overall, uh, uh, the, the way he presented himself uh, meant that uh, I, I had to reject that, uh, and that was my right to do so, so. And I think that you know I was, am right, was right. I was very heartbroken. But I guess you guys were right. Maybe not a top quality guy. Right. I know. Yeah, it was all our fault at the time. But I was devastated. Mm -hmm. This was my yeah. love of my life. So. I just remember I went to bed with a boyfriend thinking he's going to come to Elliot's, my brother's baseball game with me the next day. Woke up to find out my mom had dumped him already for me. Yeah, right. right. I mean, that's... She did a good job with that. <laughs> she was more subtle than I would have been. 